when the Child Mind Institute was started, this is the kind of thing we knew we had to do to bring the right people together to make sure that we were going to affect the national conversation. And that's why I am so very grateful to the Child Mind Institute, which persists in being the champion for the most vulnerable kids in the world. What makes me so thankful and honored to be here is to be in this room with you and all your extraordinary organizations. I see a day when parents will know that their child with a brain and behavior disorder will live a full and joyful life. The team at NBC has demonstrated a commitment to using their platform to change the conversation about mental health. When I first pitched the idea of doing a year-long series on child and adolescent mental health, one person in the room said, it sounds so depressing. And another quickly jumped in and said, it sounds so important. We have got to, as a nation, begin to address the incredible importance of early screenings uh, and treat brain health early before we punish it later. Their son, Kenny, ended his own life, and they turned it into a positive movement our school didn't understand his illness, they didn't understand his death, so we as a family knew we needed to change that. Community is the opposite of loneliness. This idea that people need other people is, is at the heart of our work, it's at the heart of our message. I did exposure to my OCD, and Dr. Alex gave me the tools to calm down and taught me coping skills to handle my anxiety. The Child Mind Institute is there to support me no matter what. The hope that she talks about is a very precious uh, commodity and it's what we're trying to cultivate with our hashtag My Younger Self social media campaign. Our basic message, like all of yours, is start the conversation.